The Book of Malachi, from the Holy Bible in Modern English, translated by Ferrar Fenton. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Mark Penfold. Chapter 1 The Burden of the Message of the Ever-Living to Israel by the Hand of Malachi I loved you, says the Ever-Living, but you ask, in what have you loved us? Was not Esau brother to Jacob? The ever-living asks. Yet I befriended Jacob and disliked Esau, and have laid his mountains to waste, and his homestead to the snakes of the desert. Although Edom says, We are broken down, yet we will return and rebuild the ruins. The Lord of hosts says thus, you may build, but I will throw down, and they will be called the bad border, and the people of the Lord's anger forever, and your eyes shall see it when you will exclaim, The Lord is great over all the borders of Israel. A son should honor his father, and a servant his master. So if I am a father, where is my honoring? And if I am your master, where is the fear of me? asks the Lord of hosts, by you priests who degrade my name. But you may ask, by what do we degrade your name? You present polluted bread on my altar. But you may ask, by what have we insulted you? By your saying, the table of the ever-living is contemptible, and when you sacrifice the blind, it is not bad, and when you present the lame and diseased, it is not wrong. If, however, you presented such to your governor, would he be pleased with you, or would he promote you? The Lord of hosts asks. But, however, turn now to God, for he may be kind to us. Those came from your hand. Will he accept anything from you? Change yourselves, the ever-living says. Who amongst you will shut the doors and not light the altar in vain? I feel no pleasure in you, says the Lord of hosts, nor will accept an offering from your hand. But from the sunrise to its setting, my name will become great to the heathen, and in every place will be presented incense and offering to my name with a perfect gift, for my name will become great among the heathen, says the Lord of hosts. But you, you degrade it by your saying, The table of the ever-living is worthless, and its product contemptible food. You also say, How tiresome, and sneer at it, says the Lord of hosts. So you bring the stolen, and the lame, and the diseased, that is the offering you bring. Will I accept it from your hand? The ever-living says. I will punish the swindler, who, when there is a male in his flock that he has vowed, afterwards sacrifices a diseased one to the Almighty, for I am a great king, says the Lord of hosts, and my name is reverenced by the nations. Chapter 2 So now, priests, this command is for you. If you will not listen, and you will not lay it to heart, and give honor to my name, says the Lord of hosts, I will send a curse upon you, and blast your blessings. Indeed, I have already blasted them, for you will not fix them on your heart. I will cramp your arm, and sprinkle dung on your faces, the dung of your festivals, and you shall be attracted towards it. Then you will learn that I sent this order to you, that my covenant should be with Levi, says the Lord of hosts. My covenant was with him for life and peace, and I gave it to him openly, and he reverenced me and bowed before my name. The law of truth was in his mouth, no lie was found within his lips. He walked with me in peace and right, and turned away from sin." So the lips of the priest should guard knowledge, and the law should be sought from his mouth. For the Lord of hosts, herald is he. But you have deserted the path and made many sick of the law, corrupting the treaty with Levi, the Lord of hosts says. 
so I have made you a contempt and scorn to the mass, because you have kept not my paths, and hated to look at my law. Have we not all one father? Did not one God create us all? Why do we each deceive his brother, breaking the covenant of our forefathers? Judah has betrayed, and depravity is practiced in Israel and in Jerusalem, for Judah has profaned the sanctuary of the Lord, which he loves, for Baal, the stranger of Bethel. The Lord shall strike blind the person who does that, but will answer from the tents of Jacob him who presents an offering to the Lord of hosts. Then you again make this pretense. You weep at the altar of the Lord with tears and sighs, because he accepts not the gift and does not accept pleasure from your hand. And you exclaim, why because the lord was a witness between you and the wife of your youth whom you deceived although she is your companion and the wife of your bond but not one has done it with a share of spirit in him but why any one god sought an heir so take care of your spirit and do not deceive the wife of your youth for dismission is hateful says the lord god of israel and to cover wrong with a cloak says the lord of hosts so take care of your spirit, and do not deceive. You have wearied the Lord by your speeches, but you may ask, in what have we wearied him? By your saying of all who do wrong, they are right in the sight of the Lord, and he will be satisfied with them. Or, where is the justice of God? Chapter 3 Behold, I send my messenger to make a path before me, the Lord that you seek, unexpected, will enter into his temple. The herald will come, says the Lord, of the treaty you love. But who can endure his entry? Who stand when he searches? Like a fire he is to refiners, and like the soap to a fuller. He sits down to fuse and refine thereout the dross from the silver, and Levi's sons he will cleanse and refine like to silver and gold. Then they can approach to the Lord and offer up gifts that are perfect. Then Jerusalem's and Judah's oblation shall be sweet to the Lord as of old time. Then I will bring to you justice and quickly decide against lies and adultery and those who rob men of their wage and wrong widow, orphan, and stranger. Will they not have fear of me then? asks the Lord of the armies. For I ever living change not or you sons of jacob would perish you left my decrees nor regarded my laws from the times of your fathers yet now turn to me and i will accept says the lord of the armies but you ask with what be returning could adam hide up from god yet you would be hiding from me ask you what have we hidden from you the tithe and offering of harvest you are cursed with a curse for you rob me the whole nation hides up so bring all the tithes to my garner and let there be food in my house now try me by that says the lord of the hosts and ask to unclose you the sluice of the skies and to pour you a blessing to fill stores and drive wasters away from destroying the fruit of your labors nor your vine shed her fruit in the field says the lord of the armies and all nations then call you the blessed for your land will become a delight says the lord of the armies your words are bold against me says the lord of hosts yet you ask what have we said against you you have said it is folly to serve god and what profit is there for our guarding his trust and for our having walked in black before the lord of hosts so now we congratulate the cruel for they prosper the practisers of vice are prosperous the despisers of god also are safe however those who reverenced the lord spoke to one another and sought the lord and listened and signed an agreement of remembrance before him to reverence the lord and think upon his name then the lord of hosts said to me 
these shall be mine at the time i collect a treasure and i will be kind to them as a man is kind to his son who serves him then you will turn and distinguish between the righteous and the wicked between who serves god and who serves him not for be assured the day comes that will burn like an oven when all the cruel and all who practice vice will be stubble and will be burnt in that coming day says the lord of hosts nor root nor branch shall be left but the sun of righteousness will shine forth to you with restoration on his wings and you shall be brought out and sport like a bullock from the stall and tread down the wicked for they will be dust under your feet on the day when i perform it says the lord of hosts remember the laws of my servant moses which i communicated to him in horeb and the institutions and decrees for all israel i will assuredly send to you elijah the prophet before that great and terrible day of the lord arrives and he will turn the hearts of the fathers towards their children and the children towards their fathers lest i should come and strike the earth with a ban the end of the book of malachi from the holy bible in modern english translated by ferrar fenton recording by mark penfold